today our topic is peptic ulcer the peptic ulcer is actually broad topics so and it's i want to describe all etiology physiology diagnosis and even treatment that's why i want to go from the basic concept but i want to say the definition of peptic ulcer means damage to mucosa and deeper tissue that exposed to acid and pepsin is known as a peptic ulcer one more time the damage in a mucosa any mucosa suppose this is the this is a any tissues mucosa damage to mucosa and deeper tissue maybe sub mucosa also even sub mucosa deeper tissue that exposed to acid that exposed to acid and pepsin that known as a peptic ulcer before we are going about peptic ulcer we we are going to discuss about stomach ulcers okay and duodenum duodenum ulcer before that i want to go about stomach ulcers first is a physiology physio physiology and histology of stomach okay let's talk about stomach physio and histology or anatomical structure so that we can easily understand how the it's regulates or how it it's physiology this is as you know the fundus body and this one is a pyloric part okay greater curvature lesser curvatures this is the anatomical structure but we are going to about physiology here is a have here gastric pit in a mucosa layer in a histology mucosa sub mucosa muscularis and serosa okay but we are talking about mino mucosa there is a gastric pit but what other cells are lies in this gastric pit this is very very important physiologically so let's talk about this physiology okay gastric pit this gastric pit i am going to make this gastric pit suppose this is a gastric pit and mucosa here is columnar epithelium this is columnar epithelium the mucosa lining by columnar epithelium and there is one is a glandular cells also they actually produce mucus they produce the mucus and mucin and even they make the gastric surfactant surfactant gastric surfactant this is a, of course phospholipid this is main function for the as a protective barrier so this is columnar epithelium here as a, another is a glandular cells which secretes mucus mucins gastric surfactant which is like a phospholipids and this is the main the protective barrier okay the another important cell lies in a gastric pit is this cells is a parietal cells parietal cell its main functions is to production of the acid hcl the protons okay and intrinsic factor the parietal cells for secretion of the acids a proton secretions and the intrinsic factors the another cells lies here this is chief cell chief cell which main functions is to sec to secrete pepsinogen pepsinogens pepsinin pepsinogens of course is a protein breakdown enzymes is a protease which which the which is stimulated by acetylcholine the one is a columnar epithelium cells i i want to repeat again columnar epithelial cells the mucosa linings which has another glandular cells which secrete the mucus mucin and gastric surfactant their main function as a protective barrier and the another cells is a parietal cells which secrete hcl and the intrinsic factors these parietal cells also actually stimulated by the acetylcholine means parasympathetic systems 
and the another chief cells which secrete the pepsinogens is a protease which is also stimulated by acetylcholines okay then here is another cells this cells name is the ecl cell ecl cell they secrete ecl cells they secrete and they produce histamine they produce histamines and they are also stimulated by acetylcholines so ecl cells what we need to remember about this uh, mucosal layers in the mucosal layer in a gastric pit there is the main cells what we need to remember in a mucosa there is a columnar epithelium same time with uh, we, mm, in the gastric pit at the columnar epithelium there is another glandular cells which secrete mucus mucin gastric surfactant this is a protective barrier phospholipids another cells is a parietal cells secrete hcl intrinsic factor stimulated by the acetylcholines Another cell is the chief cells which secrete the pepsinogens. Pepsinogens is a protein breakdown enzyme, protease, which is also stimulated by acetylcholine. And another important cell is ECL cells which secrete the histamine, which is also stimulated by the acetylcholines. Okay, now this is this is in a body part of the stomach. Now let's talk about pyloric part. This is antrum. In an antrum what we need to understand in the antrum okay in the antrum actually no no any parietal cells no parietal cell activity because they contain endocrine endocrine cells endocrine cells two cells basically one is a g cell and another is a d cells two endocrine cells g cell and the d cells G cell actually secrete gastrin. It is a hormone, okay? Gastric hormone which is stimulated by amino acids means food. And a D cells, D cells is a delta cells which is stimulated by low pH. If the pH is a low, then it stimulates D cells means delta cells and which release somatostatin. And it suppress parasympathetic activity. It suppress the parasympathetic activity. And these two cells actually lies in a pyloric part in the antrum of the stomach. So these are very important in a physiological conditions. These cells must need to work together to balance of our stomach activities, gastric secretion activities. So again, I want to repeat in an antrum part of uh, stomach, there are two important cells, G cell and D cells. G cell secrete gastrin, which is a hormone stimulated by amino acids. Okay, and D cell, delta cells, which release somatostatin and which is stimulated by the low pH. Now, let's see how these G cell, D cells and others how they affect the parietal cells because the, we are talking about peptic ulcer peptic ulcer high acid okay so how the acid production increase or decrease how they balance the acid productions so we are talking about parietal cells okay parietal cells main functions of parietal cell is to produce acid okay and intrinsic factors of course but here is a acid stimulator acetylcholine acetylcholine stimulates to production of acids and another is a gastrin gastrin also positives and another is a their ecl histamine also stimulate and only there is a negative means inhibitors is a d cells delta cells so if there is three component which stimulate for the production of hcl Acetylcholines means parasympathetic, gastrin means G cells, and histamines is secreted by the ECL cells. And whereas only inhibitions of the, this HCL is only D cells. So in this way, our actually physiology of parietal cells um, occurs. Means in this way, the HCL secretions it balance. So this is actually stomach uh, physiology and histology. I sum up. Okay, so now again I am going to tell about how the protections 
of mucosa occur in stomach or as well as in a duodenum in the next video okay